We have some injury updates to go over from today's Packers practice. It came out first from Bill Huber. He said Carrington Valentine and Jordan Morgan are back. No Christian Watson, Jair Alexander, Elton Jenkins, Luke Musgrave, or Devontae Wyatt. Kenny Clark went through stretch, but it isn't out here as we head for the exits. And then officially he put out uh, in the past 30 minutes, the people who did not participate, Jair Alexander, Elton Jenkins, Luke Musgrave, Christian Watson, Devontae Wyatt, Kenny Clark, Limited, Edron Cooper, Jordan Love, Jordan Morgan, and Carrington Valentine, a knee for Jenkins. So we have a mix of good and bad news. Good news is Carrington Valentine is back at practice as well as Jordan Morgan. Bad news, Jair still not practicing, missed the pass game. Elton Jenkins now seems to have a knee injury and he's obviously a very big part of the offensive line, so that's one to watch as we head into this next week. And then Christian Watson, of course, injured his ankle this past week. Looked pretty bad, and according to Matt LaFleur, it seems that it's not as bad as it could have been. It did come out from Jordan Schultz yesterday that he has a uh, that Watson has a high ankle sprain, but he was told it's a mild one, and he's unlikely to land on IR. And then LaFleur did add, here from Tom Silverstein. LaFleur said that they dodged a bullet with wide receiver Christian Watson ankle and that he doesn't foresee him going on IR. He said Watson is doing a lot better than they could have hoped based on how the injury occurred. So that's good news for Watson. Doesn't sound quite as bad as it maybe looked initially. And the fact that they're not going to put him on the IR shows that they believe he's going to be back probably within the next you know three to four weeks it could be sooner potentially um but when you go on the ir you have to miss four games so that means they don't think he's probably going to miss four games which is which is good to see and i think until then dontavian wicks has been really really good when since watson went down i just saw a stat from pff that dontavian wicks is basically winning routes at like the highest percentage in the nfl basically getting open the most in the nfl based on his routes so Wicks is really, really good, so I don't think the Packers are honestly going to miss a beat without Watson there, but hopefully he'll be back soon. Then from Ryan Wood, Jordan Love says he's back to taking all the first-team reps in practice this week. No lingering issues from sprained MCL in his left knee after returning last week versus Vikings. So that's good. It sounds like Love is progressing. You could tell early in the game it looked like he was trying to get situated, get a feel for it. It looked like later on he was playing a lot better. Then we have here from Tom Silverstein. LaFleur said that he can see improvement in the way that QB Jordan Love is throwing the ball. He said he could see it as the game wore on last Sunday. And then the more he plays, the more he'll get back to being who he was pre-injury. And then we have from Tom Silverstein again. LaFleur said they would know more about uh, defensive tackle Devontae Wyatt's ankle injury in the next couple of days. But he's hoping that isn't an IR situation either. So... That would not be good news. Devontae White, I think he's taken a, another jump in his third season. He's made some real nice plays. That's a big loss to the Packers. Uh, you know, do not have Devontae White, so we'll keep an eye on that one. And then finally here from Tom Silverstein, we have Packers coach Matt LaFleur said that they have opened the practice window on defensive tackle Jonathan Ford, who is currently on IR. He has up to three weeks to practice before a decision is made. So some more depth coming back for the Packers and their defensive line. So all in all, a few different injuries we have to watch again this week. I think the biggest one to watch will be Jair. Is he able to come back this Sunday, or is he going to miss another game? No doubt, you know, facing off against the Vikings and the weapons they have there. It uh, it was not good to, to be missing Jair and Carrington Valentine. Luckily, Carrington Valentine looks like he should be good to go this week after being limited on Wednesday, so we'll keep an eye on that one as well. And of course, Kenny Clark not practicing um, you know, that's not great as either. So a lot of different injuries to keep an eye on, and I'll keep you guys updated through the week as we move into next week's game. But if you want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe below and I'll see you guys next time.